Imagine babies. I don't have to. They're right here on the cover. My first thought when I saw this game is that it was something like pets. Look, I know that that sounds messed up, but I saw the Z instead of the S and thought, what are the odds? But throughout my research, turns out there's an entire library of these Imagine games. There's Imagine Babysitter, Imagine Modern Dancer, My Secret World by Imagine, and wow, 42 other games. Most are on the Nintendo DS, a few made it to the Wii, and only three made it to the 3DS. But Imagine Babies must have been something special, because it's the only one with four different game variants. There's the original Imagine Babies, Party Babies, Babies Fashion, and a 3DS version called, you guessed it, Imagine Babies 3DS. Also, little fun fact, all these games were published by Ubisoft, better known as the gaming company behind Rainbow Six Siege and Assassin's Creed. The original Imagine Babies was released October 23rd, 2007. It was later followed up by Party Babies releasing November 11th, 2008, before ending with its 3DS version which released October 23rd, 2012. And unfortunately, I don't have any sales figures for these games. Normally I would either set up goals or just play the games all the way through, but I'll be doing neither. I plan to dip my toes in a little bit, see what each game has to offer, and then leave the children behind. It's for character development, I'm real and they're not, it never would have worked. We start the game off with a talking stork introducing himself to... Well I guess that's supposed to be us. He tells us normal stork things like that he's friends with our grandmother, and then someone just immediately starts beating down our door. Turns out, it's Mrs. Stick. I say, hi, I'm Sean, and she says, watch my kid. She's nice enough to give us a rattle, but then she just books it, so now we're just stuck here with her baby, Ella. I don't know what to do, I've never even looked at a kid before, which is good considering what all the Minecraft YouTubers are doing. We're expected to entertain her, so I just shake a rattle around in front of her face, and I don't know what everyone complains about, parenthood is easy. Mrs. Sticks is super impressed with our ability to keep her kid alive, so she pays us in gold coins and, what is that, lottery tickets? What is the currency here? Just as I think I'm free to enjoy myself, Storky tells me that I should clean up the house, either painting, vacuuming, or washing the dishes. So, I guess we're washing the dishes then. It really is just washing plates. I think it's kind of funny, or more realistically sad, that the Imagine games were considered games for girls, more specifically for ages between 6 and 14. If this is what you want to play, go ahead, I'm not judging you, but I think we should just call it what it is, how to make a housewife. With another bang at the door, we meet Alexander Hamilton, I mean, Mr. Stick, Ella's dad. He gives us something called a critter's box and tells us that if Ella's agitated, just to rock her. So I'm prepared to give her the old one-two. So apparently, this is what a critter box is? What is going on? It makes different cow noises depending on the direction that you move it, and we're supposed to copy the pattern based off of the noises that it makes. However, I can't differentiate the sounds at all, so it's just a guessing game. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm whoa. I'm sorry, what do I do? It's crying. I ended up rocking her to sleep in the cradle and then just leaving her there. You're allowed to leave babies unsupervised, right? I just walked around the house and washed some more dishes before finally going back to go check up on her. Oh shit. So apparently I was supposed to click on the chair instead of the cradle, but now I'm just panicking because I need her to calm down before her parents come to pick her up. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, hold on. Mr. Stick arrives to pick up Ella, and despite us saying that we had a fun time, he looks us dead in the eyes and just goes, I don't know, she kind of looks bored. She's a baby, jingle keys in front of her face. Storky being the great guy he is tries to ease our nerves a little bit, telling us that we're going to be a great babysitter. But the only thing I can think of is, this isn't Imagine Babysitter. This is Imagine Babies. I didn't download Imagine Babysitter. What's Imagine Babysitter if this is Imagine Babies? I got up the next day with the urge to paint. But one, we don't have any. And two, they meant paint the house. So I guess we're just vacuuming in the meantime. As much as I wish this was a power simulator light, it's not, and this minigame sucks. Ella gets dropped off with this again, but someone's still banging on the door. Do I knows you? The delivery man gives us maracas that our grandmother sent us from her vacation, and unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. Smell you later. This kid is a ticking time bomb, and the only way I can defuse it is by feeding her sludge. At certain points, we need to track the spoon through a little path, but I didn't know what to do because I don't read instructions. Maybe I would, but I'm dyslexic, and they look like this. The phone starts ringing, and turns out it's a new client who wants us to watch their kid. Which, if you really think about it, it's weird how we got into this spot all because our neighbor just left their kid with us one day. We played with Ella a bit to get her to calm down until her mom came to pick her up, and apparently we did a bad job again. What did I do? The lady we talked to on the phone swings by to drop off her son Tom, and I guess this is just our life now. I decided to try out the maracas that Granny sent us, and as I've said before, 
I am a white boy with no rhythm. I managed to get a hold of things, albeit a bit too late, so I ended up using the Moo Cow toy in order to cheer him up, because apparently that mess sounds better than my maraca skills. He gets picked up, and for the first time in a while, we're told we actually did a pretty good job. Around this time, I discovered the shopping feature, so I bought some stuff, and also found out that there's a special tab that shows what specific items the kids like. Cowboy costumes. Tom is my boy. Tom gets dropped off with this again, and we're given a costume to dress him up. It is a cowboy cow. Oh my god, okay. I wanna be a cowboy baby. No, this is a cowboy baby. But we need to rein this cowboy in. So after soothing him with some robotic movement, we end up putting him down for a nap. Once he was back up, I wasn't quite sure what to do, so I gave him a bath and fed him some goop, and I don't know why I struggled so much again. Fuck. I mean, sorry. Oh god, I'm sorry Tom, don't repeat that to your parents. There we go. Holy shit. We play with the whirly gig, which is kinda lame if I'm gonna be honest, before it was time for him to get picked up. This time, even we say Tom doesn't look pleased, and what the hell, I did everything! I'm gonna be real with you guys, I have a feeling this game is just gonna keep looping the same stuff we've been doing. I feel this way because Ella got dropped off with us, and that's exactly what happened. So with that being said, after Ella was picked up, I grabbed my gold coins and my lottery tickets, put on my cowboy hat, and headed off to a party. A party babies! Thank you. Thank you. It was a great segue, I know. So it turns out it's not called Party Babies because these babies are getting crunk, it's because it's a bunch of party games with babies as the main characters. I'm stuck playing the solo option because I'm lonely, and please keep in mind that sometimes I just suck at these games because I'm emulating them, and the controls don't really move well over to mouse and keyboard. With that being said, I'm ready to beat some kids. Not all of them, just some. A cutscene starts us off, which is just kind of confusing, because I selected a baby earlier, but they're making it seem like this is me. Why am I already having an identity crisis? The first game is walking in a bouncy castle, and I already wish that I had seen the stats of my baby before selecting him, cause he's walking like he is two left feet. Yeah, I never stood a chance with this one. Anything including motion controls is kinda rough, and this is a Wii game by the way. Damn it, there's a scoreboard? From this point forward, I don't see baby 4, 3, and 1, I see public enemy 1, 2, and 3. This is war. Shooting bubbles? Read it and weep. Whack-a-mole? Damn right there's a new record. A multi-leg race? Okay, we don't need to talk about that one, but at least I'm not on the bottom of the scoreboard. Our failure nearly gave Katie a mental breakdown. Thank god there's a guy in a lion costume in order to cheer us up. Fun fact, the costume has jiggle physics, and then the cutscene just ends. Is there supposed to be a story to this? The next challenge is a matching game, and thank god these kids are morons. I very easily could have gotten buried here seeing as it's turn-based, but they all decided to keep flipping over the same cards, so we're all good. In the next game, you had to collect food, then run it back to your color, and if you bump into each other, your plates drop. This is pretty much Overcooked, just minus the fear of losing all your friends over a failed dish. And I've lost plenty of friends over Overcooked, so I know what I'm doing. After I got a pretty good lead, I just started playing pure defense. Not at all necessary, but pretty fun nonetheless. Next up was a sandbox where you had to dig up different colored balls and then run them to their respective side. It was whatever, but we were zooming. We had to count sheep next, and keeping track of the last one was actually pretty hard. Then again, I am an adult going up against a bunch of toddlers, don't question why I lose sometimes, this kid just knows how to run. We are barely in the lead, seeing as every game has been a toss up between me and public enemy number one. On second thought, I should probably stop calling him that, but next up is a rhythm game, and we know I ain't got rhythm, but damn, these babies do, look at them go! Now when it comes to the actual game, they suck and I won by a large amount, cementing me first place and unlocking the next season. And a cutscene? Is it my birthday? Apparently both me and Simba went here, and we used to be inseparable. Is this party game seriously trying to set up a love story? I don't know, because every cutscene is only two lines. Leo, that's his actual name by the way, tries to show off the fact that he taught all of the babies how to dance. But let's be real, I'm self-taught. We all saw the dance minigame. You can't fool the people, Leo. You're a goof in a fursuit. We played a drinking minigame, but they're babies, so it's milk. And I got steamrolled. But when it came to splashing around in a kiddie pool, I was Michael Phelps, assuming Michael Phelps is good at stealing toys from babies. Next is dress up, and I misunderstood the controls, so I don't stand a chance. So let's direct our attention to this baby falling down instead of my failures. Speaking of failures, apparently every season includes that multi-legged race, and I will consistently lose that. This is not a good start. We're doing so poorly, Katie's about to quit her job, but we're told at least we're not as bad as Leo. Even if we were, we're told that loving the babies is more important than doing a good job. That seems wrong, but assuming we are Katie, we really are bad at our job, because I can't even win red light, green light. You know what I can win though? A jigsaw puzzle that we're all putting together. 
Not exactly sure how that works, but now we're playing keep away and I'm being the littlest shit I can possibly be in order to win. I am a pellet of poop. That was gross. You know what else is gross? The fact that even after I dominated two rhythm games, I still came in second place to a bunch of babies. <gasps> it's the cowboy outfit! It's the cowboy outfit. I'm putting that on once I find out how to. All is right in the world, I don't care. Look, funny costumes. I'm starting to believe that Katie's whole personality here is just lack of self-worth. But then I take a moment to think, and realistically, that should just be Leo. I'm at the point with these games, I'm just gonna speed through them a bit. The swings were timing based, and I couldn't get it down pat. Bocce ball was great, albeit a bit slow. This baby is dope as shit now, and the throwing out baby food game was alright. We have to scare pigeons, color, and change our baby's diaper. And with that last one, I have beef. There are rubber ducks that appear, and you can grab it and hand it to another baby in order to distract them, and I was getting ganged up on hard. If this was a fair fight, I won outright, but now I'm forced to share my victory with the baby of Thugonomics. Next up was a memory game, and if you can't get one right, good luck with eight. Of course it came down to me and little Eminem, but this isn't a rap battle, and you're not taking down this cowboy. Some country line dancing later, and Leo's giving us the cold shoulder. We try to find out what's wrong, but he's not having it, and the certified sad boy walks off. Also, I can't help but to notice we're down to three kids in the cutscenes. Did Leo steal a child? We competed in a snowball fight, but with my lasso arm, they didn't stand a chance. Then there was a weird sumo fight where we were all dressed up as fruit. I don't know, it ended very abruptly. Then we take turns tickling each other, and this just made me uncomfortable, before we had another race, and you guys already know what happened. Then all of a sudden, this random guy shows up. Do I know you? Oh, it's Leo, and he's sad we'll be leaving soon. Get over it. We played a matching game before a version of Snake in the Bathroom and then brushing our teeth. I want to take a moment so you guys can listen to how hard I was trying to win this one. I was going ham on my keyboard, and then I did the same thing while trying to put my kid to sleep. You guys already know how the dance battle went, and with that, the game's over. Or is it? We still need to know what happens with Katie and Leo. Well, Katie starts to leave and everybody starts crying. But then we're told to wait and are offered the position of the retiring Mrs. Grames. If it was up to me, I'd say no, but I don't have a choice. Also, we're down to two kids. What is happening to them? And why is Leo suggesting that we kiss under a mistletoe? Where did he get a mistletoe? Hold on, all kiss under the mistletoe? This is a nursery. I think it's best we move on. I did not support that love story. When it came to creating my character for this game, I decided to get with the program. It's not an option to be a man in any of these games, so from here on out, I'll be known as Shaniqua. I want you to know, I understand that's not how you spell it correctly, but I was only given seven digits. We start off by introducing ourselves to our boss because we work for a nanny company now, and some things are already starting to rub me the wrong way. Okay, so she's allowed to have that many characters, and I can't have what, like more than seven? We then meet our coworkers. Oh, oh my god. God, I wish this was a dating sim. Don't listen to her, she's always in a bad mood. I can fix her. Turns out the jobs we're taking are Raquel's. I don't mean to step on your toes, but you can step on me. It's time to pick a family, and our options are an incel father, a horny couple, or a couple of scientists. I go to check up on the horn dogs and yeah, it's weird. Armand is amazed that their baby stopped crying the second I arrived, and his wife, well, she just doesn't speak. The game gives us goals we have to complete in order to earn stars and move on. So I start off by trying to calm her down. And look, I'm not the president, so kissing a random baby I just met is really weird, and I highly recommend never doing that. But it calmed her down, so okay. We then had to change a diaper, and I don't know what I was expecting, but the kids got more than skid marks. Oh, oh my, oh my god, that is, that is in fact poopy dookie. It's so bad we have to give her a bath, and let me just take a moment to tell you how wrong this feels to be playing as an adult. This very well might be one of the last times I type in weird DS games to Google and play one of the first things that pops up. Like, I understand this is a kid's game, but if you saw a random adult out in public bathing a baby on a 3DS, I think I would try my best to avoid that person. I finish up my nanny duties, and Juliet thanks us, which puts everyone in shock. Why? I know this might sound controversial, but uh... Women are allowed to speak. I made my way to the next family, and when I called this guy an incel earlier, I was putting it nicely. How does he have a kid? Luke, my son, he's sulking, lol. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! This poor kid has a rough life ahead of him. His career goals are looking like Twitch moderator or talking to his Discord kittens, so I'll help out where I can. We give him a bath, fix him up a drink, and take a picture from a time when he still had a father. Because if his dad keeps this shit up, 
I don't think he's gonna be in the picture long. We only needed four stars in order to advance, but I can't leave a family in need. So I swing by the last couple, and they just start dropping random statistics on me, like how they can only spend 39% of their time with their daughter, Ada. So after I complete 100% of fulfilling their daughter's needs, like feeding her, putting her to bed, buying her clothes, I got promoted and reassigned to the exact same family. And now they can only spend 24% of their time with her. That did not last long. I taught her how to play an instrument, cause I'm sort of a xylophone pro, and after I earned 1500 gold coins, cause I guess that's still the currency here, I got a star. However, I get stopped in my tracks cause I can't teach her how to say a word. With your parents being scientists, you think you know how to repeat the word red. RED. I can't take it anymore. This game tricked me into screaming doggy in my dorm room, and real talk, the Citra microphone just doesn't work. So those were the games. I know I didn't play them all the way through, whether from my personal choice or the powers that be, aka Citra not having a working microphone function. With that being said, I formed my opinion around the parts that I did play, so feel free to take that into account. With the original Imagine Babies for the DS, there really isn't that much there, and I don't really know what there is to expect, seeing as, you know, there is 40 other some odd games released within a six year span. The main thing that really irks me that I mentioned earlier is the fact that these games were considered games for girls, and you can make games for girls, but how do you have the audacity to make the mini games of vacuuming and cleaning dishes? At a certain point, you're not even trying to hide what you're doing. Tom was great by the way, I love that cowboy outfit, good shit. As for Party Babies, it was probably my favorite out of the bunch. Obviously, it wasn't anything too crazy, but compared to the other two games, it was a blast. I have no real thoughts about whatever that story was, other than the fact that I just think it was weird. Although I played the 3DS game for the shortest amount of time, I honestly think it was the most polished. I wouldn't have minded playing it more and seeing what it had to offer, but there was no way I was teaching that kid how to read. I barely know how to read myself. Anyway, I definitely feel different after playing these games. Protection is my number one priority. Wrap it up and stay safe out there. As always, if you guys have any suggestions for a video you'd like to see, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. This one was kind of a mess, but I hope you still enjoyed. Within the next few weeks, I plan to have something else drop on top of the weekly retrospectives, so we'll see how that does. Anyway, thank you all and I'll see ya.